Hello everybody, I want to show you in this video 10 first things to do for the Samsung Galaxy M51. So the first thing I want to show you is about the navigation. So you can choose between this navigation bar and between gestures, which one is very modern right now. So uh, let me show you what I mean. Just scroll down here and you will have here the symbol for the settings. Tap it. And then we need to go to the point display. And here we will have a bit below the point navigation bar. So tap it. And uh, as you can see, actually we, have, we will have the navigation buttons. Uh, also, by the way, you can change it. Now you can have the recent tabs here and the back button here. Now you can change it here. Okay, in the case you want to work with the gestures, go here on the second point. And uh, yeah, there are two ways uh, for the uh, gesture navigation. If you go here more, options you will have here um, the first point uh, it's like the navigation bar no? it's to have here the recent tabs no? or the back button or here the home screen no? so um, yeah let me go uh, back here uh, to uh, our uh, options and uh, yeah the second way you can have here is swipe from the side and from the bottom. This is the regular navigation you will have on so many other phones as well. So you uh, have just this one up to uh, just one button to swipe up. You know? And that means if I want to have the recent tabs, I swipe this one in the middle and leave it and I will have the recent tabs. If I want to go uh, back, I just go here from the side back. And if I want to uh, go back to the home screen, I just do like that. So it's also an opportunity to do that. And uh, yeah, and what's also very nice, you can change here the sensitivity for that. Um, so everyone is different and so on, so that you really um, get clear with that. And um, yeah, but let me uh, change again to the navigation bar because I'm more used as I, I prefer the navigation bar. I don't know why, but uh, yeah. So the next point I want to show you is um, you can set up the home screen. So uh, I have chosen now four apps in a row, but uh, if, you, if you want, you can have also much more apps here in a row. If you say, okay, I, I prefer to have many apps on one desktop screen and so on. And also the same with the apps. If you want to have more apps on one screen, uh, that is possible. So for that, just go here to the settings, Let's scroll down, go here to the settings. And uh, then we have also at the point display here, uh, the point home screen somewhere, there it is. And here you can customize it. Huh? So if you want to um, uh, change the uh, home screen grid, uh, here we have some examples. This is the main settings here, but you can uh, also change it into much, much more apps. Uh, but of course, the size of the apps will become smaller and so on. But the screen is very large, so it doesn't mean that you cannot see some again. Um, just uh, figure out what's your prefer, what you prefer and so on. And uh, yeah, the same thing as I said also with the app screen grid. So uh, this is basic here. No? But if you want, you can have also many apps. Uh, no? Put now my apps together, and I would have uh, two more rows here. Uh, I can add another twelve apps here at one page. Yeah, check it out and choose the one you want to have. So the next point I want to show you is uh, the finger gesture sensor because uh, if you want to uh, go here to the shortcuts, you cannot do it with one thumb and so on. So you, you have to use always the other hand to uh, scroll this down and so on. But there's another way to use this button here, this fingerprint sensor. So just let me show you what I mean. So just scroll down here and go to the settings. So then go here to the point advanced features. And then we will need here the point motion and gestures. And here we will need the finger sensor gesture. I explained you already a bit. If I enable now this feature here, I have now the opportunity if I if I'm using here this fingerprint sensor and swipe it down, I will have here now the shortcuts. If I swipe down again, I will have the other shortcuts, also the complete shortcuts. So a nice feature and I can uh, scroll them up as well. So scroll down, scroll down, uh, it works very well. And I don't need again 
uh, no, I can reach now everything with one hand. Then I propose one hand, there's also one handed mode included so you can make the screen a bit smaller. Uh, let me show you what I mean. So just scroll down then let's go here to the settings. Uh, so then you know already I have to go to the point advanced features. And then let's go here to the point one handed mode. So uh, if I enable now this feature, uh, you will have uh, two, two opportunities. One is to just swipe down the home button as, a, as it's uh, enabled now. So you just swipe the home button now. And as you can see, uh, the screen is much smaller. I can now reach everything with one hand. And also if I'm left-handed, you can just tap here on the arrow and I can work also with my left hand and so on. So very nice. And uh, yeah, if you want to go back uh, pretty easy, just tap here on the black field and you're back. Uh, in the regular mode so um, and you can also uh, enable this uh, one-handed mode and with a button uh, let's go here on the button and uh, that means if I double tap now on the home button I have the um, one-handed mode as well and as I said I can just go back here if I tap here on the black field but I would recommend you the gesture one okay um, the next thing I want to show you is about the security because you have um, uh, McAfee uh, scan here inside that means uh, the, you can check the phone for malware or other bad activities and so on you never know uh, let me show you how you can enable this feature as well I've enabled already just scroll down here then go to the settings again and we have here at the point somewhere um, device care so now we will need here the point security um, and uh, if you enter the very first time, uh, you have to allow it at first, you have to enable it at first. This is absolutely free and so on. You can do that. And then you can scan the phone uh, to check uh, uh, for some malware or suspicious activities, as I, uh, as I have told you. Um, then you are sure that everything is okay. And that's a good feeling, by the way. Yeah, the next thing I want to show you is the screen timeout. So basically it is like that, that after 30 seconds, uh, if you don't use your phone, the screen will turn off. So, but you can extend that. So just scroll down here, then go to the settings, then go you on display. And then let's go on screen timeout. Uh, the basic settings, as I told you, is uh, 30 seconds. I have uh, done it for two minutes because it's more comfortable to show you some features and so on. Um, but uh, I would recommend to you to set it up with one minute because one minute is not too much and not too less. And um, yeah, the next thing I want to show you here is also at the display settings because it's the um, font size. So the size of the text because you can make it a bit larger. Um, it's a bit comfortable for your eyes. Uh, and uh, yeah, you have a larger screen, so why not um, enlarge it a bit? And uh, you can also check, uh, change here the font style if you want to another uh, style of uh, letters and so on. Um, just choose the one you prefer. And uh, what's also very nice here, it's uh, if you go back one step, it's the screen zoom. This I would recommend you more because this will basically zoom everything. If you go here on the plus symbol, the symbols become bigger as well as the font size and so on. Yeah, choose the size you want to have. And uh, yeah, the next mode I want to show you is also for saving energy and for your Ice as well. So let me show you what I mean. So just scroll down here, scroll down a second time. And by the way, what's also very nice, you have here a second page. Huh? You have here uh, some more options then, uh, like screen recording and so on. I have shown you this in another video. And uh, we have here the dark mode. And I want to show you the dark mode because this is saving energy, because this is OLED screen, and the OLED screen have the opportunity if it's completely dark here to turn off the pixels and that saves a lot of energy and it's very nice for our planet. And if you're using the smartphone in the night and there's no other light as well, 
um, it's much, it reduces stress for your eyes and so on. And what's very nice, what I would recommend to you is that you enable this feature, uh, that you schedule this feature. Uh, if you go here on the written word, dark mode, uh, then you have here the point details and you can turn on as scheduled. So, and uh, you can set it up from sunset to sunrise. The phone will recognize then automatically the time and uh, will turn it on in the evening and turn it off in the morning. So I would recommend you to this, or you can also custom schedule it by your own within this um, start time and an individual end time. So um, do it as you want. And uh, what I would recommend to you, especially if you're living on the northern half of the world uh, or of the, in the southern half, I would recommend to you to go by sunset and sunrise. Okay, um, yeah, the next feature I want to show you is also for the eyes uh, because uh, um, there is uh, a blue light filter included and that will reduce the stress for your eyes. So just scroll down, scroll down a second time and here we will have the blue light filter. And if you tap that blue light filter, you will see the screen is turning into another color because um, the screen is reducing the screen, uh, the, the blue light. And uh, that gives, especially at night, your eyes less stress. So uh, you can schedule this feature as well. Also, if you go here on the written word, you can, first of all, change the opacity. No? I know it's unusual for the first time if you see the screen in another color, but um, I'm telling you, you will um, uh, feel uh, much more comfortable and you will uh, 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 and you will be used to very fast. Okay, and here at the point details, you will have also the opportunity to schedule that feature. So, and I would recommend you, uh, so first of all, you have to allow access. Of course, it has to be uh, the phone asking for the location, uh, to have access on the location or for the GPS. Then he knows where you are. Then it's um, from sunset to sunrise and always in the evening, it will turn on and at the morning, it will turn off. But to be honest, I would recommend you to use this feature also on the day because it will also reduce the stress for your eyes on the day. Okay, and let's come to the last uh, feature. It's also um, to come down a bit and so on. It's the focus mode. So let me show you what it is. So just scroll down here, scroll down a second time as we have learned, go here on the second page and you will have the focus mode. If I tap now on the focus mode, uh, I can uh, Check now if I want to have the work time focus mode or the me time, also the free, uh, the, the free time uh, uh, mode. Um, the, let's go with the work time mode. And what's very nice, the phone is turning off uh, many, many apps I will not really need not during my work time. Maybe like WhatsApp, which one is disturbing me the whole time because people are sending me messages or something else. Yeah, You know what I mean? To become a bit down, to get really focused in the things you are doing and um, yeah, so the phone let me just end, so let me just work with the telephone, with the messages, with the basic messages, no? and the Play Store, and the, also the, the, the clock. No? And uh, yeah, if I want to stop it, I just um, tap on an app, uh, which one is not um, part of this focus mode, and then I can go directly to the focus mode and um, end this focus mode. Okay, and after I will see also a statistics how long I uh, have enabled that uh, focus mode uh, because then I become, I can think about a bit what, you're, what I'm doing because it's also motivation to get away, to get a bit far from the smartphone, okay? And um, yeah, so and after if I go back here, I have, see, I have also some statistics. Now what's also very nice, it's the digital well-being. And uh, that I realize, hey, I'm sometimes too often on the smartphone and so on, that I should let me just think about. Yeah? And um, yeah, let me go back here because I want to show you something else. So just scroll down here, scroll down a second time and go here on the second page and now go on the written word focus mode here and you can set up also some details and we will 
go on the same page. I just want to show you how you can go there. And um, now we can set up here the focus mode again. So basically we have uh, set up a work time and a meet time for the private time, but you can add also some uh, more features, uh, I don't know. Also you can add uh, also another times and so on uh, as, as you want. And uh, let, let's just let's work with the work time here. Just for an example, and here you can edit the apps, by the way. Now, if you say, okay, WhatsApp is really important for my work or YouTube is important for my work, it could be possible, no? uh, like in my case here, then um, you can enable this uh, apps here, which one you will need. And uh, yeah, you maybe like contacts or Instagram and so on, everything is okay. Then go on down and these apps will be also then um, available during this focus mode. Uh, but uh, yeah, you really, concentrate more on the stuff which one is important at that moment and that's great so yeah if you go and start you start the focus mode and so on and yeah as we can see instagram is now part here now and uh, yeah it should really uh, should be a try so you should really try it and uh, i would recommend this feature to you uh, because to be honest we are all too often on our smartphones and it's time to focus more on the life. Yeah, I hope I could uh, show you something new with that video. And uh, yeah, maybe if you want, you can leave me a nice comment or give me a thumbs up. That would be very helpful for my videos. Uh, thank you so, so much for, and yeah, I've created also some other videos if you're interested in normally just subscribe me. It would be really a pleasure to see you, <laughs> to see you again. And uh, yeah, maybe until next time.